Climbing mountains is one of the most beautiful parts of the sport of cycling. Hard, but immensely rewarding. But it's always nice to be able to go a bit faster, isn't it? It certainly is. So, with that in mind, here are five GCN hacks to make you go faster without the need to get any fitter uphill. First up, many elements of cycling are simply a mental thing, none more so in fact than climbing mountains. It's going to hurt and you might as well just accept that. As the old saying goes, it doesn't get any easier, you just get faster. Yeah, it's mind over matter really and just as important as getting in the right gear is getting your head in gear. And once you accept that it's going to hurt, it'll actually hurt far less. So embrace the pain. Embrace the lactic, and you'll soon be one step ahead of your previous self. Come on, Dan. That said, your gearing is still very important. The pain you're experiencing shouldn't be knee tendonitis because you're pedalling at 40 revs per minute. Even the pros are fitting easier gears these days, so there's no reason for you not to. You're more likely to be able to ride your optimal power if you're at your optimal cadence. So get yourself a compact chain set combined with a 32 at the rear and you'll almost always have the optimal gear to use. No matter what the gradient, no more grinding away. What's better for climbing? In the saddle or out of the saddle? It's an impossible question to answer because what works for some doesn't for others. However, what we would suggest is spending around 95% of your time in the saddle, but deliberately getting out of the saddle every so often. Just to use slightly different muscle groups and give your other muscles a break. Yeah, so try knocking it down a gear or two, getting out of the saddle for around 10 seconds. You don't actually need to put any extra power through the bike at all. Once the 10 seconds are up, sit back down in the saddle and get back into your rhythm. And you may actually find this gives you an extra mental break as well as a physical one. And certainly works for lots of people, including myself. Losing weight often comes as a result of training really hard and therefore getting fitter. But you can also lose weight without getting fitter at all. And that is well worth it. Last year at the Tour de France, Matt and I did an experiment on a five kilometer climb, once at our normal weight and once with a five kilogram rucksack. And the results were quite emphatic. It was on average 90 seconds slower with the extra five kilos. Yeah, so if you're somebody with a little bit of weight to lose, you could be quite literally sitting on some potential speed gains. So, lose those extra pounds or kilos and go faster uphill for the same power. Faster for free. Indeed, we love free, don't we? Pacing yourself up a big mountain is crucial if you really want to get to the top as fast as you possibly can. The trouble is, it's always so tempting to really hit the start of the climb very hard because you're so excited about getting there. But make sure you don't do that because if you're going to the red then, you will pay for it the rest of the way up. Start steady and make sure you leave plenty in reserve for the last half. On a similar note, you need to make sure you pay attention to how much you do even before you get to the climb. Because the more energy you can save, the more power you'll have on the climb itself. So beforehand, take things nice and steady or just sit in the wheels. So those are five G10 hacks for getting faster on climbs without actually getting any fitter. Number one, get your head in gear. Number two, use the right gears. Number three, lose some weight. Number four, vary your position. And number five, don't start off on a climb too fast, i.e. pace yourself. Yeah, hopefully they will help you. Let us know how you get on in the comments section down below. And if you've got any of your own tips, please also share those with us in the comments section down below as well. If you haven't yet subscribed to the Global Cycling Network, you can do so now by clicking on the glow, which Matt believes he is pointing to, but it's probably somewhere they're completely different on the screen now and coming up a couple of videos which you might well be interested in which could too help you on the climbs down here for how to lose weight through cycling and just down here for how to pace yourself on a climb don't forget to like and share this video as well